Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. This is Rosario. Uh, Gabby and Eddie are going to join us later for this week's Coffee and Carrots episode. Um, today we're going to talk to you about all things wedding bands, um, some of our most popular styles, what engagements you compare them with, time frame to order. Um, so we're going to cover all of that for you today. I'm going to start off by showing you some of our most popular um, designs that we get for orders. Um, thin pavé, bezel set, prong set, eternity. Um, really thin pavé band that will be made to match the same thinness of your pavé engagement ring. If you want to do something a little bit fancier, there's some bigger diamond bands set a little bit differently, one of them being a bezel band. Um, a bezel is a very thin row of metal that goes around each stone, so you really see the roundness of the diamonds, so that'll give you a little bit of a bigger look. And then we have our prong set bands that are typically made with um, larger diamonds. Uh, there's a few different ways to do the prong bands, and I think we'll we'll cover that too in, in the next part. But um, any of these can be made uh, eternity style, halfway, three quarters of the way to match your engagement ring. Um, then we can also do some traditional solid bands. So they can be made in platinum, rose gold, yellow gold. So if you want something really classic, a plain band, we can make that for you, or you can do two and start to stack them. So you'll have a lot of options. And um, to you, yes. one of the big questions that we get often is, how to pair a wedding band with your engagement ring. I pulled out three rings that are our most popular and I'll show you how to pair it so you have a kind of a guide. Um, our first one is our floating head setting. It is our highest profile setting. A setting like this allows you to pair larger diamonds with it. For this, I would recommend a prong shape, um, a prong set wedding band. So you could do a U shape or basket set and like Catherine said, it could be eternity or uh, halfway or three quarters, but because it's a higher profile setting, it allows you to still sit flush even though it's larger diamonds. Our next setting is the cathedral setting. This is a very traditional setting. It's very romantic as well. Uh, so don't be afraid to go a little bit funkier with your wedding band. We can pair a bezel with it um, just to add a little bit more interest to it. So that's a great pairing as well. And you do have them sitting flush as well. Um, our last setting is our invisible gallery setting. It's our lowest profile setting. For a setting like this, I recommend a pavé band that matches. This will allow the band to sit right underneath the diamond and also sit flush. All our rings are made to sit flush with your wedding band, um, so it just depends on the style of ring you have and what wedding band will sit best with it. 